So today I'm excited to be at a place I've never been to before, um, in Daywin National Tall Grass Prairie, which is um, in northern Illinois. Um, it's a little bit south of Joliet. So it took me about a half hour to get here from home. So um, I guess it would probably take uh, maybe an hour and a half to get here from Chicago. So that's pretty cool. Um, so it is pretty close to, you know, society and all that stuff. But you kind of want to know it because out here it's a little bit in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty farmlandish. And um, the most exciting thing about this place is that they, in the last couple of years, have um, introduced a bison herd um, to the area. So um, hopefully I'm going to see some bison. Hopefully I'll get some good shots and all that. I believe there are times where they are out of view. So hopefully when I get over to the uh, area for viewing that, they will be there. So right now um, I'm at the Welcome Center. So I just went in there, I took some shots in there. There's some displays and all that um, informational stuff in there. And so I got a map and a little bit of information. I'm going to drive over a couple miles to a parking lot near where the bison are supposed to be. Okay, so I just drove from the Welcome Center back out onto 53 and over to this um, Iron Bridge Road to this uh, Iron Bridge Trailhead. Um, so uh, now there's a lot more people here in this area because this is supposed to be where the bison viewing is. So um, we'll see what happens. There is, it looks like there's a ranger out here and stuff. So hopefully, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Try to find a trail that gets closer to them. This is really as best video as I can get. Well, it's almost better than nothing. I swear they're not just out there.
this is what I ended up doing. I ended up starting at the Iron Bridge Trailhead. And then I hiked over toward this iron bridge, but right at that iron bridge, I turned left and went down to this Southwest Bison Overlook. I was not able to see bison from that spot, but in between the iron bridge and the Southwest Bison Overlook, I was able to see some. They were pretty far off, but I got some okay video, I guess. And then I went back the way I came and turned the other way. And um, I was able to see some more, again, way off in the distance. Overall, this place was pretty cool, especially getting to see the bison. There are a lot of trails and stuff that I didn't see, but, I mean, you kind of get the point after you're uh, hiking along for a couple miles. Uh, so, really, the main point is seeing the bison. And sometimes you can't see them, but I was lucky enough to see them. Uh, one thing I do have to say is that I had to compliment this place on... Um, how nice and helpful their staff was. I talked to a ranger guy and he was super helpful with uh, pointing me you know in the right direction of where that I where I could see bison and then I even ended up seeing him back out on the trail and he was like oh hey did you um, you know get to see the bison and all that you know he remembered me and uh, you know and then even pointed me back towards where the uh, rest of the bison were and all that told me a little bit about it he said that usually the bison herd is all together uh, apart from maybe like a few males that split off uh, but right now is um, like birthing season so they um, are split up a little bit and that's why they were in like two separate groups today so I don't know well uh, super helpful though so and those guys were um, like just staying right out um, you know at the trailhead here so um, pretty cool ask them you know for to help you out finding the bison as always uh, thanks for watching and come out here and check this place out yourself if you're able to and um, subscribe and like and comment and all that great stuff thank you guys